What is up guys, this is Aviation24 here coming at you with another unboxing time. Yeah, that's, I guess we're going to call our boxing this unboxing time in the second, I guess, of the show. But anyway, yeah, so as you can see, we have two packages today, but two planes, one in each box. So, yeah, um, I'm going to start off with this one, 3902, so, yeah. So guys, these are planes that we've been, um, for, well one of them is one that we've been waiting for for a while. The other one is just an addition to a certain fleet, so. I know you guys, uh, if you remember the last unboxing video, we did get a Canadian airliner, so that's, um, should be a hint of what's to come in the future. Okay, so as you can see, we got a, another letter from the company DG Pilot, uh, shout out to them, very good company. Uh, it says thank you so much um, for your loyalty as a customer. You're welcome, buddy. Okay, so I want to say welcome. Um, I never actually meant to get this model. I kind of accidentally like hit the order button because I was trying to see. Yeah, I was if there I can, actually. If I can use a coupon for it, but I accidentally hit the order button without even realizing. So I you know it's a mistake that I don't regret because you know it's a plane that I wanted. Yeah, I mean, you guys could kind of see. I didn't mean to order it, like, at the time. Yeah. You guys can kind of see it right there. So, yeah. As you can see, underneath all the bubble wrap, it's the all new Southwest Boeing 737 700 in the Florida One livery, made by Gemini Jets. Yeah, this is our first Gemini Jets in a while, actually, guys. Yeah. And now I'm going to be getting order number 4073 out. I haven't seen really any unboxings on it yet. Only oh. seen like my friend send me pictures of it, and so what? far of the Florida one, and I'm like the mold of it. You know, I kind of like the Gemini Jet 737 700 mold, like it's like one of my favorite molds, even though it doesn't have like the little end, like indent, like on the 737 800 mold for NG that I always keep on pointing out to you guys, because that's something that should be pointed out and noted. So yeah, I mean, sure, it does, like this mold doesn't have that indent that I like. Because the actual aircraft does have it, but I just like this mold in general. Now we got another note from DG as well. Thank you for your, thank you for your business. You're welcome. Uh, and we got something else. Uh, oh, we got this little thing. Thank you for your order. Pre-delivery inspection was completed by. Um, can't really. Yeah, I don't really read script that easily. Yeah, I can't really read out that name. But thanks for whoever um, did the inspection. Yeah. Hopefully the model's in really good condition. Let's be heard. Yeah, cause um, if you guys haven't already seen that some of these uh planes from NG have came broken for some strange reason, like this Spirit. Uh, 839, 821, made by NG Models. Yeah, so guys, this has been a model that we've actually been waiting for. Yeah, we were supposed to get it with the scoop, but like when we are when we're going to order it, we didn't see it on DG Pilots because they were out of stock, and then they got a restock recently, but this is the last one from DG. So yeah, it's pretty nice to have. So um, we're going to start off with the uh, Southwest first. So. Yeah, since that is like a more of a newer aircraft, taking out of the box, we got this classic white, um, Gemini Jets. White box, yeah. As you can see, we already have the model in here. We're just gonna pop this beautiful plane right out of its package. Yeah. The only easy part about having, um, Gemini Jets planes is like the, the packaging is very easy to get the models out. That's what I got a note for Gemini Jets for. But yeah. Oh god. Um, yeah, if you hear that sound in the background, that's just a fan because up here where we are, it's like hot, so yeah, it's like uh it's, it's in the system. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Where's my phone? Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know where my phone is. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry about that guys. We were just he, he didn't know where his phone was, so we were just looking for it real quick. But um Let's get to a review of the plane. So yeah, I'm um, starting off from the nose here of the aircraft. We got the, the nose of the aircraft, and it looks pretty good. The shape of it looks pretty nice from 737-700 uh, photos that I've taken at MacArthur. 
Um, so yeah, we got the nice beautiful cockpit windows, which um, looks proportionally right for the aircraft size. Okay, uh, full camera. All right. And then we also have the uh, pedal tube here. We got the another, uh, this the angle attack sensor, not the MCAST one. But uh, we got the title here saying Florida One. And we got the Heart One logo. And then along that with the L1 boarding door. And we start to move on to the beautiful paint scheme of the Florida One. It says the um, state of Florida, like right here, says state of and then Florida. Right Florida there. right here. And we got the beautiful art scheme of the Florida state flag, which I really like it. So yeah, and then we also got the paint here on the engines. And then moving on, we got the overwing exit right here. And we got the overwing exit arrows with the outline of the fuel tank. And moving on, we got the winglet here with the red beacon light. The only thing I don't like about the 700 mold is that the winglets seem a bit too stubby for the aircraft, but it's whatever. And then moving on to the back of the aircraft, we got the registration, which is November 945. Whiskey November with the L2 boarding door here, and then we got the American flag and then Southwest uh, tail here, which looks very nice. I'm just gonna turn the aircraft around a little. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, on the other side, we just have the same detail, but just with the um, rear cargo door, the Wi Fi box, which I forgot to mention, mention antenna, beacon light, uh, same overwing exit, and then somewhere in the paint scheme, you can kind of see it right there is the front forward cargo door and we got the bottom antenna underneath it oh god my arms are getting a bit shaky pointing out this small detail and then we got the um nose gear which says 945 for like the registration of the aircraft now we can flip over the aircraft and get a look at the underside detail yeah so this is a side that you don't really see on the bottom of the aircraft of like the real aircraft so like um yeah um Got the nice detailing here. Got the emergency escape hatch for the bottom here. Got dash, well, just 700 for like noting the bearing of the aircraft. And then moving on back towards the middle, we got the well, landing lights right here, which are print, like print out. And then we got the wheel base, which look very nice over here. And then as you can see on the outside of the wheel hub cap, it's yellow. So yeah, Gemini just does a really good job on that. And we got the Gemini just logo right here. And then moving on to the back, we got the laboratory access door, and then we got the APU access door. Oh god, the camera. Oh, there we go. Wait, let me point that out again. APU access door, laboratory access door. And uh, one thing that he was, we were pointing out on the swoop, this is the APU we were talking about. How um, Gemini Jets is this kind of APU? Yeah, I like the Gemini Jets one. I prefer it more than the uh, NG one right now. Yeah, but hopefully NG gets to that quality. We're just going to put that plane to the side. And now we're going to unbox the Spirit A321, home of the Bear Fair delivery, I guess you can call it. So this is what the plane looks like so far. Doesn't look broken, so yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Translate the script writing for us. Yeah, because because I don't I don't really read script that often, so it's right. hard for me to read that. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna be pointing out the detail on this aircraft. So we both ended up ordering aircraft. He ordered the other one. That would be I already mentioned their names before. I think. Uh, Joel. So that would be Joel. That's my brother, my little brother. He's the one who ordered the Southwest. We both run the channel together, and I, my name is Josiah. I ordered this plane here. So I'll be pointing out the detail for this one at least. So let's get started. So right here, towards the front of the aircraft, we got the nose cone. Just give me a minute. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So right here, we got the nose cone. Uh, we got the cockpit windows with. Um, the windshield wipers really cool we got airbus a321 titles right here we have the little red box here i'm not exactly sure i know it's a type of sensor but i'm not sure exactly what kind of sensor we have the l1 boarding door here we've got the um what would that be 
It what, where? That little, little red circle? Yeah, oh, right yeah, that's here. The, that's the Airbus A321's angle of attack sensor. Okay, so that's the angle of attack sensor. We got the main gear right there. I think we have some little titles or something there. Yeah, we got uh, 681 on the landing gear doors for the nose gear. Uh, we got another red box there and another um, the electronical stuff thing. We have the wing light here, L2 boarding door, along with the spirit billboard titles, the bear fair titles, basically. We got the engines right here with the home of the bear fair written on it. And moving on down the wing, we got the very well, oh geez, it went out of focus. Okay, there we go. We got the very well detailed um, wing here with all the little pylons attachments. It looks really good. Um, some people also call them flap tracks, so I'm not going to trigger anybody in the comment section, so you can call them either pylons or flap tracks, whatever you prefer. But, yeah, we got that nice detailing, go detailing going on right here. Um, nice wing detailing, of course, with the fuel tank outline and some little, I don't forget, little warning stickers here that say poly don't step. Uh, right here we have the, oh, if it would focus... There we go. Right there we got the spirit.com winglets. Very nice. And it does say spirit.com on the other side as well. Oh wait, no. It says howdy. Yeah, howdy. Texas. So that's cool. So it does say howdy right there. That's pretty cool. I had never recognized that before. Um, we're moving on to the back. We've got the L3 boarding door and the L4 boarding door and a registration November 681 November kilo so yeah this is the one that doesn't have the Wi-Fi hub as well Gemini Jets has the other one that has a Wi-Fi hub that's the one I was planning to get might get it in the future if it's restocked so I have to see here we have the nice um, APU looks like it improved from the jet blue one very nice looking and then moving on to the other side we have the same thing you can see the howdy on the other side as well um get the registration again um Right here we have the, this would be the L2 cargo door, and then we have another cargo door where you can see right in the reflection right there. A few antennas, little beacon lights, and stuff going on up here. Here's the antenna, another antenna, and this is the beacon light right here, and an antenna all the way at the front. And we have the L1 cargo door right here for baggage and all that stuff. Now, if we flip the model upside down, we can... Oh, jeez, that was terrible. I don't like that sound. I, I think I may have scratched it a little bit. So, moving on to the underside, we've got the... Um, oh, jeez. Right here, we've got the little... Right. Sorry about that, guys. So, right here, if the camera would focus... There we go. So right here we have the little ladder access door to the um, cockpit. We have the nose gear bay doors here. Moving on to the midsection of the aircraft. We've got the um, main gear bay doors there. We have the little slot on where the wing actually goes in and then I'm going to guess is on the other side. It's just a little, little nitpicky right there in that little gap there. But other than that this model is pretty good. Landing gear look good. They do roll. Yeah, they do real. You got the engine detailing here. Very nice. And going on to the back of the aircraft, you can see more detailing. If this camera would just like work on autofocus, like Jesus Christ. There we go. So right here we have some little dots. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but this is just more detailing. All right, I'm back. Okay. We have the laboratory access doors as well, and the APU access door, auxiliary power unit access doors. All right, so. I got our mom to figure out the name, kind of, like, like basically who it is. So, like, the C, I mean, it sure, the first letter looks like a C, but it's, I'm guessing it's probably O, O. So, it's Austin. So, Austin, well, not, not an O, it's an A. But, Austin, thank you so much for pre-inspecting uh, this aircraft of the Spirit A321. Yeah, so, yeah, thanks. So, yeah, guys, um, as soon as he came back, I actually just finished with the... The, the basic review of the spirit so, so yeah. yeah it's our first ever spirit it looks really great and then this our this is like our this is our third 
No, fourth. Because I got this one. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I thought you were talking about just the 700s in general. Oh, yeah. The 700s. So, yeah. This is our fourth 700. Third. Third it is. Well, yeah. Third. Third 700. And then this is our fourth Southwest aircraft. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We have lined up with the Trip Crown one. Uh, the paint's job on this one is, like, brighter, though. And then this one is a bit more darker. Uh, I mean, I did take it out in the sun for a little while, and it was also in the sun on the old airport, so I don't know if that did anything to it. Probably did, but yeah. Yeah, that basically concludes for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Sorry, it's out of focus, guys. This camera's just not working with us today. Hold on. Alright, is that better? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new, as always, uh, be generous to subscribe. I mean, most of the percentage of our of our viewers are subscribed but those of you that are not you know be generous and hit that subscribe button also like the video comment if, you, if you'd like to it doesn't really matter but we will still respond to you um so yeah as always we'll see you guys in the next video which will be a, uh, another video so yeah bye